numbers of infants and toddlers, and uh, yeah, that you know, that daylight savings they really that goes right into your baby's brain and tells them to sleep that extra hour. Not. <laughs> it is really a joy to be with all of you today. Welcome to friends who are able to join us via live stream, and thank you, Adam, our incredible tech, who is running that. Woo uh, yeah. Woo <laughs> and thank you once again to our guest musician, David Mead. Woo really and truly at the last minute. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, thank you. To that end, I want to um, offer just a quick orienting to the service. So if you've never been with us before, everything you need is in this worship program, this bulletin. You just follow along. The things that are in bold are the things that we all say together in unison. And look, if you say it a little late or if you forget to say it or you forget to stand up, it's okay. <laughs> Jesus is still worship. We are going to make one change because we had to do a quick musical change. So we are only going to sing the first two verses of Holy, Holy, Holy here in a moment. We're going to save that third verse for if you turn the page where we would have been singing this new song, Jubilee, because we had to do a little musical switch around. We're just going to put the third verse of Holy, Holy there. And that's going to be our uh, glory for today. Today we are observing the Feast of All Saints. And I'll say a bit more about what that is in my homily, but... I've invited y'all to bring photos of people who we love who have died. And there will be a point in the service um, during the offertory where you'll be invited to bring these photos forward. So just hang on to them for now. It is also at that point that we will read our necrology. Necrology is the, the term that we use for a list of saints who have specifically died in the last year. So since the last All Saints Day, so November 1st, 2021. And while we are people who hold space for the mourning and for the grief and for the acute loss that we feel, we also know that today is a resurrection day. And we stand firm in that hope. So with all of our hearts and all of our minds, let us stand and join in our opening hymn, Holy, 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 the first two verses. Mm -hmm.
together your elect in one communion and fellowship in the mystical body of your Son, Christ our Lord. Give us grace so to follow your blessed saints in all virtuous and godly living that we may come to those ineffable joys that you have prepared for those who truly love you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who with you in the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, in glory everlasting. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for the reading of scripture. Our reader is coming, she's just getting off the Blessed are you who are poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you who are hungry now, for you will be filled. Blessed are you who weep now, for you will laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you, and when they exclude you, revile you, and defame you on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice in that day and leap for joy, for surely your reward is great in heaven, for that is what their ancestors did to the prophets. But woe to you who are rich, for you have received your consolation. Woe to you who are full now, for you will be hungry. Woe to you who are laughing now, for you will mourn and weep. Woe to you when all speak well of you, for that is what their ancestors did to the false prophets. But I say to you that listen, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who abuse you. 
If anyone strikes you on the cheek, offer the other also. And from anyone who takes away your coat, do not withhold even your shirt. Give to everyone who begs from you. And if anyone takes away your goods, do not ask for them again. Do to others as you would have them do to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Speak in the name of the life-giving, liberating love of God. Amen. So today is All Saints Day, and I'm curious, how many of y'all have celebrated All Saints Day before? Show of hands. Okay, that's about what I expected. So there's some folks. This is this is new, and some folks who definitely know what's up. So um, I just wanted to offer first a little history, a little context of what All Saints Day is. Because All Saints Day comes in All Hallow Tide. And I'm curious, Zoe, what do you celebrate this week? Do you know what Hallow is on Monday? On Monday? Yeah, I know. It was Halloween, right? So Halloween used to be called All Hallows Eve. Now, Hallow is one of those fancy words that we sometimes say in church. Does anybody know like, what prayer Hallow is a phrase we use or word we use in? Hallowed be thy name. Oh. Yeah, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. So hallow is kind of these old English words that we use to talk about something or someone, rather, who is holy, who is precious. <laughs> so did you want to... Time to reflect. 
And so the, the holiday, the holy day, has grown over the years to not just be a day that we remember these martyrs from the early church, but we remember all the saints, including the saints of our own lives. People whom we love, who have died. Because we, as Protestants in the Episcopal Church, we are a funny denomination. We kind of straddle the line between Protestant and Episcopalian, but something that we believe is in the priesthood, the sainthood of all believers. We are all sinners and saints. We all have the capacity to draw closer to God and to draw others into the life of God. And so that's why on this All Saints Day, this table will be laid with the memories of people who were not perfect, who did not always behave in saintly ways, but who are saints nonetheless. It also um, strikes me that Halloween is actually a deeply Christian holiday. Part of where Halloween comes from in this feast, this all saints tie, this deep and ancient practice, was people were dressing up in costumes to mock death. Because what did Professor Lupin teach us about fear? What is the thing that is the antidote to fear? Laughter. So together with Halloween and All Saints Day, together we laugh at the devil. We have joy and celebration even in the face of suffering and death because we as Christians know that death is not the end. It's actually part of why All Saints Day we have white up here. You notice that? I'm wearing a white chasuble. We have white on the altar. White is a color we use liturgically for baptisms, where we die and rise with Christ, a color we use for weddings, and a color we use for funerals, and a color we use for All Saints Day, a day when we mark that death is not the end. Now, that is a simple thing to say, but what exactly does that mean? What does it mean to say death is not the end when we feel death acutely? When we have experienced the end of relationships here on earth in the way that we knew them? Well, there's not a simple, straightforward, easily digestible answer to that. Though we are a people who believe in heaven, uh, it's not actually our primary concern as Christians to believe in a particular way that heaven will look or a particular way or certain prayer to say to ensure that we will get into heaven. It's, it's not quite that simple. And we are certainly a people who know that death is not the final word, but, but when we sort of step into that holy mystery of knowing death is not the final word, but holding loosely that, that heaven is not just this sort of pearly gate, cloudy paradise, we're kind of left wondering, well, what, what is that? Right? What happens after we die is one of the number one questions I get asked as a priest. And I certainly understand why there are simple narratives out there, right? I certainly understand why there are simple promises that are offered that if you say this thing or you do this thing, boom, done. Eternally secure, don't need to worry about it, right? And I do deeply want to affirm God's love, presence, and plan, and care for all creation to draw God back into God's self. But when we step away from these very simplistic narratives of heaven and into a deeper mystery, sometimes I think we can quite rightly long for something simple to hang on to. And the gift in the Episcopal Church and in our liturgy is while we may not have a simple theology, we do have a simple phrase. We have a simple phrase, a simple prayer that we sing every single week. It is one of the most ancient forms of Christian prayer. Parts of this prayer date back over 5,000 years. We're going to do it, in fact, in about 10 minutes when we celebrate the great Thanksgiving. This prayer, this phrase, it's called the Sanctus. It is the part of the service where we all sing together, holy, 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 Lord God, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
And it is an intentionally simple phrase so that it can come to us in moments of great need, in moments of terrible loss. This phrase, the Sanctus, this prayer, it comes from the book of Isaiah. It comes from the book of Revelation. It's when Isaiah beholds the hem of God's robe as it fills the temple, and Isaiah says, holy, holy, holy is the Lord. I am a man of unclean lips among a people of unclean lips. It's a very famous passage of scripture. But the Hosanna part is the part that strikes me today. Because this line, Hosanna, blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord, it comes from the Gospels. And it specifically comes from the life of Jesus when Jesus enters on the back of a donkey into Jerusalem. What we demarcate and mark as Palm Sunday. When people are so excited and so desperate to see a Savior that they literally are tearing the clothes off of their bodies to make a carpet for him and his donkey to walk upon. When they don't want the sun to strike his face so they pull branches off of the trees, palm branches, that's where we get Palm Sunday from, to cover his head. And do you know what the phrase Hosanna means? Save us. So when we say, holy, holy, holy is the Lord, Hosanna in the highest, we are praying the same prayer as the people in Jerusalem when Jesus entered saying, you are holy, God, save us. And you know what else? We never pray this alone. The sentence that comes before the Sanctus, you'll hear it in just a moment. The sentence that always leads up to it goes like this. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven who forever sing this hymn. Holy, holy, holy is the God of power and might. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. The communion of saints, the people whom we love and who have gone on to glory, they're singing it with us every single week. So on this All Saints Day, when we remember the dead and we honor the living who still mourn, I'm reminded of the words of that great still living saint, Dolly Parton, who says, grief is just love with nowhere to go. And I think that is true. It is true in its fullness, and it is also true in its fullness that grief is love that can go right here. This is a table that the Lord sets for us in the presence of our friends and in our enemies. And while this table may not look like Grandma's table, it may not have Grandpa's favorite casserole on it, it does. In the fullness of Christ's body that is shared with us, in this moment that is a moment that transcends time, reaching back through the centuries and reaching forward to the centuries. When we eat at this table, we are with the communion of saints and with all the angels and archangels who together say, holy is the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Amen. Salve.
truly human. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again, and in accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. all our hearts and all our minds, let us pray to God. Tender Shepherd, we ask that your wisdom and guidance move through your whole church, that we may remember that what binds us is stronger than what divides. Holy God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Christ, our cornerstone, we pray for this country, that the bitterness and enmity among us will be radically transformed by your tenderness and love for all people. We pray for all in governmental authority that they will make choices motivated by compassion and care. And we pray for a peaceful election day this week. Holy God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. prayer. Loving Spirit, we ask for your protection over all who suffer, especially over refugees, prisoners, victims of gun violence, the oppressed, and all in any grief or trouble. We ask that your tender arms enfold all who weep without anyone there to weep with them. And we ask for your compassion to be known to all who are weary. Sick. Holy God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Counter of the hairs on our heads, we pray for North Austin, for our neighbors dwelling without shelter, and in abodes next to our own. We give you thanks for the gift it is to make a home in this city, and we thank you for the joy of this gathered Jubilee community. And we ask that you make us faithful stewards of the vision you are casting for this church to be a soft place to land for so many. Holy God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God, who meets us in the darkness, we know our world is hurting. And also we know your creation still sings with your delight. Empower us to seek your justice by knowing your joy. Embolden us to stay gentle-hearted. And help us seek always after you in all that we do. Holy God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. prayer. Holy Parent, we remember the dead, even as we stand firm in the hope of resurrection. We pray for your comfort for us who still mourn. Holy God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And now, your silence, you are allowed the offer of our prayers before God. Jesus, we come to you with prayers on our lips and sighs too deep for words, knowing that you, with the love of a mother, hear us. And for that, we thank you. Amen. Mm -hmm. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by the work we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you, and also with you.
just about to start a few announcements. But first, first, birthday anniversaries. Anybody? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot last week. Does anybody have? Uh, who, who had a birthday or anniversary this week or next? Who would like to receive a blessing? Yes! Come on up! I love it. Woo! I know someone else had a birthday this week, man. <laughs> God, our times are in your hand. Look with favor, we pray, upon your servants as they begin another year. Fill them with all goodness and light and joy in the presence of your bountiful and merciful love. Amen. Amen. Thanks, y'all. Go ahead, you see. <laughs> Father Lizzie, Vicar Lizzie, I use she, her pronouns, and it is a delight to see you here, to connect with you. If this is your first time here, I would love it if you would stand our very fancy, I feel very proud of myself, you are coming <laughs> on the back of the program. Uh, this, uh, this just will take you to a short little questionnaire, um, and it enables me to follow up with you and to get you better plugged into Jubilee, should you so desire, and I promise not to spam you. Genuinely uh, really promise that. <laughs> Um, you'll also see on the back that we have a number of fun and exciting things coming up. Next Sunday, we are doing a candle making party with our dear friend Can uh, not Candy, all right, candle making party with our dear friend Courtney of uh, Adorn and Garnish Candles. Um, we have I think four spots left. It's thirty dollars per person. So if you want to come and make some candles, it's really fun. You like get to pick out the scents and like she brings like barrels of like different scents and she was a sommelier in a former life, so it's like. Yeah, it's very nice. And it's for who? Beyonce. That's not <laughs> exaggeration either. So um, I would make the Sorry, I'm <laughs> So if you want to hang out with Beyonce, Beyonce and Jay-Z Sommelier, like, <laughs> come next week. <laughs> uh, just RCP and let me know because it's a, a limited capacity. Um, and you've got some more answers on here. We're going to be at Camp Allen this summer, Sunday, December 11th. Jubilee, we are not named for a saint. People often ask me this, and there's a whole story to our name, and a big reason of that is Jubilee is a deep spiritual concept in scripture about restoration and liberation and joy, and Gaudete, Joy Sunday in Advent, the Pink Candle Sunday, is what I have unofficially claimed as Jubilee's feast day. So, <laughs> so get excited for that. Uh, something that is not on the back of your bulletin, but to go ahead and save the date for is Friday, December 16th. Youth and Family Minister Noel, what is happening Friday, December 16th? Um, we have a cookie exchange oh. slash nailed it baking competition. Oh. Ugly <laughs> spiders require? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, to encourage. <laughs> <laughs> and that's going to be at uh, St. Michael's. Yes. Which is in Yes, it's our event that they are graciously yes. allowing us. They have a massive industrial kitchen with multiple ovens, so we can like do some serious Christmas baking, y'all. So get excited! Just a time to hang out and be together, and everybody is encouraged and welcome to come to that. Um, lastly, I want to express some sincere gratitude. This week on Thursday, I shared a wish list that Noel, our youth and minister, and I have been working on for Pop Up Church. We are very soon going to have a nursery area set up for our little ones. I know clearly this needed it. <laughs> um, and it will be here in the sanctuary with us. It is a value in our life that you believe that children are with us. Um, but we needed some stuff for that. We also needed some stuff for the storage unit we're going to be moving all these things into. So I shared that wish list. It's already half purchased. My living room is like literally four of the ceiling boxes. So thank you all who have purchased uh, things off that wish list. It is on our Facebook page, and I'll send it out in an email as well. There's still some things on there. Um, we'd be grateful for y'all to even just share the list um, and invite people far and wide to support Jubilee. Okay, so now turning to talk about the rest of the service. Um, in a moment, David, our wonderful pianist, is going to start playing Abide With Me, and you are invited to sing that hymn. And as we sing that hymn, uh, the plate is right here if you would like to make your loose cash offerings. 
But during the offertory, the offertory is always a point in the service where we offer, that's the offertory, our gifts to God. That's why we put our gifts of time and talent and money. That's why we pass the plate. That's why we bring things forward. And so part of our offering to God is remembering the love and legacy of the people who have gone to be with God. So we are going to assemble this, um, this offering um, by bringing our photos forward and just placing our photos and, and mementos of the people who have gone before. And at the conclusion of the hymn, I'm going to read our apology, and Marie is going to ring a bell after the ringing. So there's not really a specific order by which you all need to like come forward with the photos. Just come forward as you can and give folks a moment to place their photo. Um, and then we will celebrate the Eucharist, where we always are with the saints. But today we will have a particular visual of seeing them with us. So... Let us give thanks to the Lord our God.
remember the saints, baby Amelia, Henry Franklin Dale, Rita Jane Denny, Derek Esparza, Mark Freeman, Bill Ryder, Betty Journey, Jason Thomas Lodge, Don Lopez, Tabitha Melton, Shuggy Russell, Walter Salmon Jr., Bill Swartz Jr., Evie and Carl, Papa, Friendly.
This is my body, which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance. supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption of Father in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in him. Sanctify us also that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit.
Amazing grace. 